Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Intervention point three. The impact of militarization on the right of indigenous peeples. July 17, 2023. 60th session of the expert mechanism on the right of indigenous peoples. Intervention point seven. International decade of the world's indigenous languages. July 17, 2023. 16th session of the expert mechanism on the right of indigenous peoples. Lydia Marcosian's interview with the expert mechanism of the Chamber of Indigenous Peoples, Nations in Geneva, July 17, 2023. Sons of Western Armenia, Eric Abrahamian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, the European Parliament has accused Azerbaijan of bribing paid deputies, five medals at the International Olympiad in Physics. Madam President, as this is the first time I have taken the floor, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment. We thank the Secretariat for choosing to work on the impact of militarization on the rights of indigenous peoples. It's clear to all of us that this is a very topical issue. On this issue, I am going to draw on the basis of my report sent to the Secretariat, last week's meeting in Vilnius, and the decision to reinforce Turkey's military apparatus show that we are facing an open door to the bombing of Syria. Iraq and the occupied territories of Western Armenia, in other words, the conflagration of the whole of Asia Minor and the Middle East, resulting in the elimination of all indigenous populations. It is therefore my duty to alert the international community, for example in defense of the indigenous Armenian population of Artsakh. I call on your presidency, the member states, to take my request into consideration. The other blockade of Armenian territory of Artsakh, which has lasted for over seven months and now with its complete isolation following the 2020 war has led to an extreme humanitarian crisis. 120,000 Armenians in Artsakh live every day under the threat of physical annihilation, loss of their homeland, ethnic cleansing, deprivation of their habitat and land. Every day the situation worsens and the crisis threatens all human destinies under the armed siege of Azerbaijan, with no possibility of medical assistance. Declarations by the international community to disengage Artsakh have had no practical consequences, and Azerbaijan continues unimpeded its anti-human and criminal policy of ethnic cleansing of Artsakh. Today, it is a question of preventing the militarization from abroad of an indigenous territory that has been part of the state of Western Armenia since 1920, with the programmed aim of continuing the genocide of indigenous Armenians in order to appropriate their sacred land. All this must stop immediately, and Azerbaijan must withdraw from all the indigenous territories it occupies. In accordance with the recognition of our state and the United Nations, Charter, which prohibits the use of military force and the annihilation of peoples, including indigenous peoples. No state should be able to kill indigenous population with impunity. Thank you, Madam President. Armenak Abrahamian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia. In the credo of the Global Action Plan for the International Decade of the World's Indigenous Languages is to leave no one behind and exclude no one. What about the indigenous Armenian population of Western Armenia, who are oppressed by the illegal occupation under international law of their land for over 100 years? This occupation has severe consequences for the vitality of their language, which is an expression linked to their genetic resources. And what about the indigenous population of Artsakh, who practice a dialect of of Armenian and have suffered a war of annihilation as part of a genocidal program, they have been subjected to a total blockade, cutting them off from the rest of the world for over seven months, and are facing a plan to annihilate their population of 120,000 inhabitants by Turkish Azeri forces. The question of our indigenous languages cannot be considered without taking into account the fact that extermination is one of the consequences of the disappearance of our language, and without considering the question of the occupation of the lands as a factor of uprooting which has consequences for our linguistic expression. The Global Action Plan mentions mobilizing indigenous peoples themselves as agents of change in rights and duties as they ensure the transmission of their languages from one generation to the next. In this respect, we are asking the expert mechanism to implement specific procedures to support the development of the Armenian languages of Western Armenia and its Arsal dialect within the framework of projects that we are prepared to submit to it. It would also be interesting to draw up a list of the indigenous languages still in existence, calling on each language holder to translate the United Nations Declaration into their mother language. In this regard, we would also like to transmit to you the United Nations Declaration on the Right of Indigenous Peoples translated into Armenian. Thank you for your attention. 
Title, our governmental structure and our NGO are the only ones in the world today to defend the rights of the indigenous Armenian population of Artsakh at the forefront of the international state. Good afternoon, today we are at the Palace of Nations in Geneva in this room of the Human Rights Council where the Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia and the National Council of Western Armenia will be making statements at the 16th session of the expert mechanism on indigenous peoples. In view of the expert mechanism agenda on various issues. The aim is to ensure that the rights of the Armenians of Western Armenia are heard before the international community. Today, in particular, it's about the impact of militarization on the rights of indigenous people. The Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia and the Council via its president, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, held an intervention in which it was specified with this impact of militarization was an imminent danger, in particular for the population of Artsakh. We would like to remind you that the population of Artsakh is indigenous, with the right recognized by the UN. In this respect, it is important to remember that the territory of Artsakh is an integral part of the Armenia of 1920, of which Western Armenia is the successor state. In this respect, the people of Artsakh have every right to assert their rights, and we are here to do so, bringing their name before international bodies. In all modesty, our governmental structure and our NGO are the only ones in the world today to defend the rights of the indigenous Armenian population of Artsakh on the international stage. This is an imminent issue, as we know that the population of Artsakh has been under blockade for over seven months now. An untenable situation not only for the people themselves but also for the entire Armenian nation now affected. The international community has heard this and we are working diplomatically to resolve these issues as quickly as possible. We will not give up. It is inconceivable that states can develop their military apparatus in this way and that the growing militarization of both Azerbaijan and Turkey will have an impact not only on the territory of Western Armenia but also on the Near and Middle East. We are therefore drawing attention to this issue because a conflagration is imminent and must be contained as quickly as possible. Eric Abrahamian was born on November 2, 2001 in Armavid. From the age of five, he was engaged in sport, fighting without rules, soccer, wrestling, and Chinese boxing. He studied in the second year of the Ternopil National Economic University, specializing in finance, banking, and insurance. In 2019, he was drafted into the army. During the Second Artsakh War, he was at the 146th position of Martoni, 50 meters away from the enemy. Being an artilleryman, thanks to accurate calculations and efficiency, he made numerous crushing blows on the enemy, destroying manpower and equipment. With his parents, relatives and friends for the last time communicated on his birthday on November 2. On the night of November 3, Eric was transferred to Martoni 2, where fierce fighting was going on. Eric was an artilleryman. His friends say that he had excellent aim, was a good shot. No enemy escaped from his shots. On November 3, having received severe wounds, friends tried to help him to save the lives of friends, said the following. Guys, run. Go over Away. They will come and take me away from here. Alas, but these were Eric's last words. Eric died. He posthumously awarded a medal for bravery. Earlier, medal Tigran Mets of the Academy of Aspects of International Security. Armenian Koshenil Vortan Karmir became widespread during the Arab invasions of 6th to 9th centuries. It was called the miracle of the East for its healing properties and pleasantness to the eye and test. Red dye was used for royal and Catholic seals. It was used to dye royal dresses. It was used to make oils that rejuvenated and preserved the skin. There are surviving references that show that red was also used to give a blush to the face. This dye had a wide application in medicine. It was used as an antiseptic. In one of his works, the great Armenian physician Amir Dovlat Amaziati gives interesting information about the peculiarities of this dye. The paint was used in miniature painting, wall painting, and carpet making. The 4,500-year-old Paziri carpet discovered in the Altai region, which is the oldest fully preserved carpet in the world, is also decorated with red color. Even now, on the walls of Armenian churches, one can see traces of Vortan Karmir, which have not faded. Among the best examples of them are miniature features preserved in the monastic complexes of Ahtala and Kabair. The European Parliament has published a resolution adopted on July 13 on proposals to reform the conditions of transparency, accountability and fight against corruption, which applies to Baku as well. As our member press reports, the paragraphs of the resolution among the violations committed by other countries and organizations also note that Baku has carried out widespread influence and actions that give rise to reasonable suspicions of corruption against paid deputies. It is also noted that Baku prevented an investigation into the elections and 
concealed human rights violations. The government of Western Armenia reminds that immediately after the 44-day war in 2020, our government condemned and condemns Baku's genocidal occupation policy towards Artsakh, a part of Western Armenia, and the people living there. Humanity knows that the authorities of Baku are an illegal structure created on the territory of other nations, which to this, they continue the policy of forced assimilation. In this official data published by Baku, there are no Lazars, Talish, Todd, Kurds, and Yezdi. Since the beginning of its formation from 1918 to 1919, Baku has been exterminating the indigenous inhabitants of the region Armenians in 1989 and continuing to this day. Baku's plan is no longer valid. The Republic of Western Armenia is already taking effective steps. We have repeatedly noted that based on the authorization of the residence of Shushi to President Armin Agabrahamian, the ECHR has already started a judicial process against Baku. The 53rd International Physics Olympiad was held in its current format in Tokyo, the capital of Japan, from July 10 to 17, with representatives from over 80 countries taking part. The Armenian team, which included five students, won one silver and four bronze medals. Hovsep Karapetyan, a grade 12 student from the National Polytechnic University of Armenia, won a silver medal, and grade 12 students from the Shahinyan, Arek Barsagyan, Maria Arakelyan, Vyacheslav Petrosyan, and 11th grader Arsen Ahayan won a bronze medal. The team team was led by Bilor Kurhinyan and Haran Topchian, teachers at the special physics school named after Shahinyan. The Olympiad was divided into experimental and theoretical phases. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Shudanchi <laughs> 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 